Hey YouTube, this is your girl Dikey Shay 32. I'm coming to you tonight to do sort of a combo video. I'm going to first do a product review and a little update I guess. And then I will finish off with my outfit for today. First of all, I told y'all I was trying um, a little bit of She Seems So Lovely, her facial regimen. Um, revamping that a little bit and adding some stuff to mine. I'm, I'm still experiment, experimenting with the bentonite clay facials, which um, I like, but they are a little bit more drying. Um, I purchased this apricot St. Isles scrub, and if you can see that, it is especially for blemishes and blackheads, which is my problem. Um, this was recommended by She Seems So Lovely. Um, and I have to say that after the first time of using it, I, um, I like it. I do like it. Um, it doesn't leave my face, excuse me, as dry as it felt with the um, bentonite clay afterwards. But um, like I said, I've only used it, well actually twice, because I used it last night and this morning. And um, I'm going to continue to use this every day. I follow it up with just regular Palmer's cocoa butter to uh, hopefully, you know, smooth out my skin um, tone and get it further uh, decrease or get rid of the blemishes that I have. Um, now, to the hair products. The Darcy's Botanical, I have tried it and I mentioned before to y'all I do like it I've tried it both ways now uh, I do like it this probably will be uh, a kind of alternate I use between the hairdo and this doesn't I don't think it works as well as the hairdo does but it still does the job um, yeah, I do like it better though and I think for me and my hair it's better with dry stuff like because once my hair dries and it's like I don't know where the product goes because um, it feels good you know going on but after when it's dry it's like dry you know I mean but um, I don't there isn't like I can tell it's moisturized and um, but it still just is not as I don't know, not as soft as I would like it to be I guess um, but I will continue to use this. I do like this product and it's not, I think this is maybe 10 or $11, not that much. Um, so what I'm getting ready to, to do, um, my, I have two strand twists and I've had them in for about, um, I guess a, almost a week now, um, but they're starting to look rough, much rougher to my life, uh, much more rough than I like them. So um, I don't know, I think I'm just going to I really want to try this Jessica Girl deep treatment. Um, and I usually try to decent my hair at least once a week because, you know, I really need the, the moisture and everything. Uh, especially need that. So I heard this, I've ne heard nothing but great reviews about this product. Um, so I'm anxious to try it. And it has some yummy goodness in it. Um, the, it says to use this thick treatment once a week to restore, restore moisture to dry hair, rich in botanicals and natural butters. Jesse Weekly Deep Condition, Jesse Curl, excuse me, treatment will pro improve and maintain the health of your hair. It says to apply to clean, wet hair and comb through and rinse after 30 to 60 minutes. And it says for more intense conditioning, use heat. The ingredients are... Water infused lemongrass, nettle, burdock, kelp, marshmallow root, horsetail, basil, bay leaf, oregano, rosemary, peppermint, sage, and thyme. And then it goes into um, behitronium methyl sulfate, satiro alcohol, shea butter, avocado oil, cocoa, cocoa butter, um, lecithin, aloe vera powder, um, and then it looks like some preservatives. But most of it is natural. Um, I'm not so gung ho about the alcohol part of it, but it's towards the bottom of the list, so hopefully it's you know not too bad. Um, so yeah, I'm 
anxious to try this once again it's the sorry the Jessie curl weekly deep treatment and then I also wanted to give this a try this is um one of my honey child the honey nut um, this also you, it says you can use it as a detangler and um, as a deep conditioner this has purified water, raw honey, coconut butter, walnut oil, coconut milk, almond essential oil, vitamin E, and um, fragrance. And it says, like I said, you can use it as a conditioner for about 10 minutes and rinse, or you can use it um, as a deep conditioner, it says, bi-weekly. So I'm probably just going to try this out first um, as a co-wash and a detangler. Um, and, and then use this bad boy as my DC so I will let y'all know how that goes now on to the outfit before I'm too long <clears throat> so these things like I said are starting to look ragged so I wanted to pin them back because the ones in the front are looking um, too frizzy but I just threw this headband on here um, and I don't know if y'all have seen these before I don't exactly remember where I got them from. I think I may have gotten them from Atlanta somewhere. I don't really know. Or maybe I got them for Chris. No, I take that back. I think these were from the um, wet seal. Excuse me. This necklace was from Atlanta and I do not remember the store. Um, somewhere not far from the underground. Um, and then the other accessories, have you seen this from the Penny Jewelry Hall? And then I think you've seen this before already. The ring is, I like this ring. And it actually was a, a found treasure. Um, and I kind of stole it from my mom. <laughs> Not really, but she never wore it and she didn't care if I took it. So, But I like the detail on it. Little flowers. But anyway, that's that. All right, so it was cold today, y'all, and I was so upset. I, didn't, I mean, I knew it was going to get chilly. They said, I listened to the news and everything, but my goodness, it was freezing. I could have broke out with a coat for real. Um, but I just had this little black um, little jacket hoodie over, over my uh, sweater. And I was upset because I really was looking forward to wearing my uh you know not having not having those sleeves out so people can see my shirt um because it's one of the i really like this style um, that's hot now and uh, um but it, you know a little over the shoulder um little shirt so i was really anxious to try to wear this out but it was cold and i thought well you know the sweater at least it's a it's kind of a sweater i mean it's it's thin, but it's still covering. You know, I'm not gonna be too hot or too cold. It would, be, it would. I thought it would have been just right for today, but I didn't realize it was. I mean, they said low 60s, but it felt like dog on 50 something. I don't know. Maybe I was just tripping, but um, let's see. The pants I got from Ross, and they're just like a little uh, khaki knicker. I like them. I like the um I like how they fit and I still got some more weight to lose. They're a little bit snug right now, but they'll be you know, I, I like that because they'll be right uh, for me in a, in a couple of months. But um I also like the little pocket on the leg and they got the little tie down. Um and then all I'm wearing my shoe is just a black flat. Y'all have seen these before. Just a little cheap shoe from Walmart. Um, and I think that's it, y'all. Nothing spectacular about my nails yet. I'll do them again soon. Maybe. When I have time. But um, that's that on that. And thank y'all for watching. And you know what to do if you have comments, suggestions, questions, whatever. Um, and until next time, deuces.